Hello and thanks for clicking on the link to watch this video. Just a simple uh, process of converting from a Quicken file. You might have a client and you can download Quicken or a 30-day trial or something like that. And, um, you know, open up their file. Here it is. There's nothing really you have to do. There is some best, best practice for actually, you know, setting up the file. You can go to under the file menu and Quicken File Operations and do a validate and repair. Validate and repair. That's fine. If they have a, a password, it'll probably come over as the admin password, but you have that option when you'll see it when I'm converting. And then, really, what you need to do is just close out of Quicken and make sure you delete things you don't need or you, you don't want to see in QuickBooks first. Do the validate repair, close out of Quicken. And I'm just going to exit. You can make a backup if you want, but in my case, I'm not. Uh, file, Utilities, and then Convert from Quicken. And click Convert. And it's going to grab that .qdf file. It'll even find where it is stored, you know, in the Quicken folder. Click Open. And then you go ahead and choose to convert it to a particular file that, you know, you're interested in. And click Save. And it's going to create the new company file template, and then you'll see the kind of the wizard uh, with some options. So next you'll see this uh, window. Does the Quicken file have an accounts receivable account that tracks customer invoices and customer payments? So if you choose yes, it'll give an option of the, the particular accounts um, there. Maybe uh, checking. Click OK. I can't use that one. Uh, so it'd have to be an actual accounts receivable account, which Quicken doesn't really have, but maybe uh, I could have chosen. They do have like another asset account. Maybe I could have used that. So che checks require a bank account. Please select the bank account. Click OK. And it's going to start converting the Quicken transactions. So you get either a yes or no to that AR. I believe it'll just create an AR account uh, for that. Uh, but it, when you're setting up or adding the account in Quicken, you, I'm sure you could choose other asset. And that might pull it in. So we'll let this convert. So notice it'll verify the data integrity. Uh, even runs a, a rebuild. As it's bringing it in QuickBooks, as it's bringing it over from Quicken itself. Then you'll see this pop up. In QuickBooks, every payee name must be on the list. During conversion, each name from the payee field of the transactions in your AR account was placed on your customers and jobs list in QuickBooks, and all other names or descriptions from the payee field of any transactions would be placed in the other names list. All right, so it's either customers or other names list. And then you can choose to display list and just you know choose the actual customer or vendor, etc. Then Quicken uh, convert QuickBooks successfully converted the Quicken data. Okay. And notice QuickBooks cannot completely convert memorized invoice transactions, names, rate, things like that. Click OK. And now it's going to finally open up the now QuickBooks file. If you had a Quicken data file password, and if it is not converted as the admin password, then please create the admin password. That's what I was talking about before. And now I'm in my data file here. I can go to my customer center, and I have uh, a lot of customers over here. Uh, and then also look at your other names list, which, again, I think I moved them over already. Uh, no particular vendors. So it, it's possible that, you know, I had some of these guys were vendors. So obviously in the Quicken file, I had them set up incorrectly. Uh, but again, I'm not really a Quicken user. Just so you can see how it converts over. That's kind of the goal of this. And now it's a QuickBooks file. Hope that was helpful. Have a great day.